to uh, Zebley Homesteading. How you guys doing today? It's a bright, beautiful, sunshiny, sunny day. Um, I had got my chickens, which I showed in an earlier video. So I got them out and they're content in this little cage. Um, I got my electric fence up around it and everything. My dog found the electric fence. So I know if it's going to keep them away from it, it'll keep them chick uh, and animals away from it. And I got them in here, it's hard to kind of see them because they're actually in the shade right now. I'm going to turn this around and show you. I am a big fan of the Rhode Island Reds, and I don't know about much about anybody else liking them or not. But that's my chickens, and uh, I got ten of them in there. I think as right now there's gonna be enough. It's going to be enough room for them until I get my other one built. So when I start building my other one, I'll actually have to cage up all my chickens and, uh, for uh, a day or two, or you know, move, I'll have to move this again either way it goes because. Um, where I'm gonna build that after this one is actually in the way. I mean, really didn't think about it until after I've already built it. But um, uh, we're gonna build a bigger one and uh, we'll have an actual walk in uh, laying room. So I can walk in and I can open up the door, get all my eggs and stuff like that, have my feet in there, have it all, have it all fixed up and everything, and then have all my chickens fixed to where. Um, I have my coop built to where all my chickens can go in of a night and they can shut a door and it'll, it'll completely close them off from the outside elements. Then I can open it up of a morning and let them out and they can run wild whatever they want to do inside the coop, inside the fenced in coop. But um, I have to watch them. Uh, there are some predators up here. Um, there's some fox and there's been some uh, groundhogs and there's a couple uh, possums and stuff that's up here and it's that time of year that they're coming out of the uh, woods works they're all uh, coming out from uh, hibernation and stuff so um, I'm having to watch all of them too I'm sitting here watching these fish guys I want to see if you can see like how big yeah, that's my big old carp right there he's the only carp I've got in there and he is big he's a monster he's probably about 25 pounds and uh, he's a big one let's see him coming up there yeah, I've got all these other school. I've got a bunch of brim in there. There's a bunch of cats in there, but right now, I think right now them cats are actually staying in the shade. It's just kind of warm out here. I don't know what the temperature is, but it's kind of warm. But um, we're fixing to go get more chickens, and uh, I think um, I've got to talk into letting us, what's raising them and uh, sell them for the going, the going price, actually as an adult chicken. And um, that's what I'm going to do. And, I'm going to keep these so that way we can uh, feed our families and stuff. We'll give out our chicken eggs after, uh, you know, after they lay them and give them out to the, um, our families, our, our parents and grandparents, or our parents, my kids, her kids, and stuff like that, so that way, you know, share it through the family. But, um, I'm not out to make no killing on the uh, eggs or anything like that. They're mainly for the family, so, um... This is the first time her and I have actually raised, are raising chickens. I've done it in the past, and she's done it in the past with, you know, her family and stuff. Um, so we're raising these chickens, and we're going to see how well we can do with these. And if I can get her more in these videos, <laughs> which I'm trying, she's getting there. I've got her in one or two. and So if I can get her to start talking in them, get her to start explaining them. So I call them diddles. She calls them doodles. Uh, duties sorry she calls them duties and I call them diddles but uh, it's uh, what side of the river we're from so 
the east side of the river the diddles on the west side of the river they're called duties so uh it's a happy sunday afternoon so y'all uh, stay cool in this hot weather at least it's hot and not cold if it's cold then we all be wearing coveralls or teeth are chattering but um i like it hot weather i don't like cold weather at all hot weather is where i need to be all the time i can deal with it a lot better than i can the cold weather um but y'all have a good day and y'all stay uh stay cool if y'all would i'm kevin subscribe it's Zebley uh homesteading and um I'm really trying to put these out here. If you guys would, subscribe to it, like it, share it, follow it, tell your neighbors about it, or uh, call your grandma and let her tell her kinfolk about it. Or uh, right on down the line, whatever, her friends. When her grandmas are, they like to get on them gossip lines. So tell them to tell their friends about it. And, uh, but if y'all would, thank you. Subscribe if you would, please. And uh, y'all stay cool. See y'all.